I need a rapid reaction for Jordan Addison transferring from Pitt to USC. Yes, that became official late this afternoon. That new look Trojan, what do we think about him? Well, you got to credit Lincoln Riley here. I know a lot of people have a lot of thoughts about Lincoln Riley, but man, what they're doing is not easy. I don't care what anyone tells you. I don't care what kind of leveraged or privileged position you're working from and what your brand is and how much playing time you can promise and what NIL's doing for you. It's hard. It is hard. If it was easy, I'll tell you this. If it's so easy to do what Lincoln Riley's doing, show me someone do it. Every February, March, April, May, show me someone else do it. So this is, there's a credit to them. What you think about the way they're doing it is totally separate from the fact that they're doing it. So credit there, it's perfect timing. The first thing I thought when I saw this headline is, you know, we're out here, we're having a production meeting. Uh, I'm on the phone with folks. Like, we're trying to get a grip on how we're going to talk about Nick Saban and Jimbo Fisher clashing. And, boop, Jordan Addison right there just around 5 o'clock Eastern time there in the middle of a, a college football tornado. Jordan Addison said, I'm going to USC. Bye. And that was it. You know, this has been in the works for like a month. It could have broken any day. When did it break? Just so happened to break right in the middle of a firestorm, the likes of which college football's never seen in the month of May. I don't even care if that is by design. I credit you guys if it was by design. So here you go. Here you go. I'll give you the fight on sign for that. Um, this is one of the best wide receiver rooms we've seen at USC in quite a while. You got, uh, you've got all kinds of talent here. Now here's the pushback. If you're a UCLA fan or an Oregon fan or whatever, you could say, okay, we've seen potential there before. How much of that potential in that room has been proven in a Los Angeles, California? And the answer is not a lot. I think USC fans get that. They're not excited because of a bunch of returning proven production. They're excited about what can be. Uh, newsflash, the entire program right now is what can be. They don't like what was out there. That's why they hit the dump button and they have a lot of what can be. But this wide receiver room serious. And they, they don't lack at quarterback. See, sometimes you've got a wide receiver room but you say, who's going to get him the ball? Uh, Caleb Williams is getting him the ball out there. And when he doesn't deliver it, you got Travis Dye, a 1,200-yard guy in the backfield to hand it off to. They don't hurt for skill here. There is a lot of Sunday talent that's going to be on the field at USC this fall. They totally remade their offense in the transfer portal. I mean, think about what is on campus now that was not on campus when they said goodbye to Clay Helton. Caleb Williams, Jordan Addison, Mario Williams, Travis Dye, Brendan Rice, Austin Jones. That's not even, that's a fraction of the amount of guys they brought in in the transfer portal. So they remade this thing, man. I mean, so credit to Lincoln Riley. That's my rapid reaction. Credit to Lincoln Riley. He got it done. There's, a, there's big demand out there for a guy like Jordan Addison, obviously. I read the statement he put out. It was really classy. He thanked Pitt. He thanked Pat Narduzzi. Pat Narduzzi has been very outspoken on this. Uh, I've, I've talked to you about what I think about tampering allegations, so I don't need to go down that road again. Big get for USC. Congratulations to USC.